Good morning. It is 5:30 in the morning. I am on my way to the Sheila Hotel in Seoul, where, according to my local friends, has the best all-you-can-eat buffet in Seoul, if not all of Korea. And that's especially the case for breakfast. And because you know the early bird gets the untouched buffet, and of course my jet lag, I'm gonna go there now. Whoa, that's the lobby. I think this will be the fanciest breakfast buffet I've ever been to. My view is so nice. Look at that. All right, let's go scope out the buffet. This is their juice selection. You got your typical orange juice, grapefruit juice, and for the very health conscious, kale and cucumber and apple. All the fruits are so beautiful here. Homemade yogurts, because you can't buy yogurts in the pack. That just sounds civilized. This is so insane. This chef's recommendation contains chicken. Who would have guessed? These are the most beautiful hard-boiled eggs I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I mean, these are the Brad Pitts of the Humpty Dumpty world. It's like these aren't just chefs working here. These are like cosmologists. I mean, even the baked beans look good. And check out all that bacon. And that is the bacon godfather. They have an entire dim sum area with someone making dim sum fresh. Look at all this sauce. Yes, hot oil. They make you fresh coffee. That was mind blowing to say the least. I'm so excited. Let's go for round one. I wanna try these stir fried anchovies. Seasoned pumpkin vegetables, soy sauce, quail eggs, mushroom salad, mozzarella cheese salad, tomato confit, and this uh, chef recommended chicken. Fresh watermelon juice. Even the place setting is beautiful. That is simple yet delicious. Anchovies are nice and chewy, but make for that walnut. It's also a little crunchy, nutty. The chef's recommended chicken is just okay. It's definitely a lot of Asian spices in there. Mmm. Mmm. That pumpkin is actually delicious. Lightly seasoned, a little spicy. <laughs> that tomato confit is awesome. Oh, that's so sweet. That's like eating dessert. Round two. Alright, let's get a little serious here. Scrambled egg is actually the best looking scrambled egg I've ever seen. Round two, I just got some basic common breakfast items just to see if they do it better than anywhere else. <laughs> I felt like I just ate an eggy cloud. Seriously, that is just divine. I can't even really taste salt and pepper, but that's just fantastic. I don't have high hopes for this guy. I mean, it seems a little tough. I feel like if someone threw this at me and knocked me out. Mm. It's okay, barbecue chicken. I don't, I don't like it that I'm eating so much chicken on a buffet. <laughs> that is thin, chicken -tastic. The chicken is tender, but the thing is, when you put it into your mouth, you get this fantastic smoky charred flavor. That is a beautiful piece of chicken. Frittata, I feel like it's been sitting under that buffet lamp of death a little too long, so it looks a little dry. Ah, it's still good. Sometimes I don't like sausage, but the sausage here, you can taste the pork, you can taste the chicken. It's not overly greasy. It actually tastes, dare I say, healthy. Oh my God, look at this tomato. This thing's gonna have a little mini explosion in my mouth. I know it. Mm. That all just turned to liquid after like a second. Welcome to the most beautiful egg ever. I feel like I'm one of those European aristocrats eating my egg like this. You know, on a little egg holder. It's very, very soft. A little salt and pepper. Whoa. Whoa, I just struck gold. Oh my God, look at that. Mm, this is like the most perfect soft boiled egg. Wow, that is liquid gold right there. So creamy and delicious.
round three. I got a bunch of the dim sum and the Chinese dishes. I think the shrimp shawmai has been practicing his kung fu because it's gotten really tough. This is the steamed egg. That is like a gentle massage on my tongue. Mmm, what a pleasure to eat. I just sucked this up in a straw. That's how tender it is. Delicate, beautiful. This steamed egg, it, it's like an anime princess. Good, okay. never made that comparison before. This is a dumpling made with leeks and rice skin. Oh my God, it's it's like Spider-Man sticking to the plate. You gotta get Spidey up. <laughs> that is good. That's like something you'll find in a typical dim sum place. Fried dumplings. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's delicious. The skin is just paper thin, crispy, light, not oily at all. Oh my God, this is one of the best things I had so far. This is something I don't usually like, a turnip cake. And I know I'm weird because a lot of people like this. I, I just don't like it. And this has just changed my entire impression of turnip cakes. Just seafood flavoring from that turnip cake, that's making me really happy right now. As if I could be any happier already. Something you don't see a lot for breakfast, mapo tofu. But hey, I'm an equal opportunity food lover. I'll eat a steak or a pizza for breakfast, I don't care. It's actually quite difficult to make mapo tofu the right way if you're not an authentic Sichuan restaurant where you're in China. But this mapo tofu, it's not the best I've ever had, but it's certainly not bad. And I love stir-fried egg noodles. I love it. I can eat it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, after midnight snacks, 4 a.m. snacks. They knocked that out of the park. That ball is far, far away. Oh my goodness, that's good. The egg noodles are tender. They're eggy because there's scrambled eggs in here stir-fried and flavored to perfection. Finally, something that's really fun, beautiful little fried flour roll. Ooh, guess here a crack. It's good, but it needs some sort of dipping sauce. Mm. That's excellent. The layers are so thin. Is that crunch? There was some condensed milk here. Must be excellent. So here, I put the ingredients inside my bowl, whatever I want. Ooh, I love these mushrooms. Add a little raw onions, cilantro, of course. Noodle soup time. I love it when buffets have pho. I'm convinced there is a part of my body that is run exclusively on pho. And without pho, I, I just feel incomplete. <sighs> this soup is good. My only complaint is they didn't have like thinly sliced beef flanks. Judge me all you want, but I like sriracha on my noodle soup. Accept me for who I am, people. Oh. That hits the spot. I mean, I don't know which spot is hitting, but it's hitting some spot. Whenever I get a bowl of pho, I can't stop until I finish all the soup. It just entrances me, and I love it. Oh, now I feel all warm and tingly. I think it's time for some dessert. Okay, granted, this is more like a pastry plate than a dessert plate, but you know, potato, potato. I just couldn't resist when they were bringing out these uh, super thin pancakes. These pancakes looks like they've been counting their calories. Look how thin they are. Some blueberry jam. Oh, hello, Mr. Fluffy. This is light and airy, slightly crispy on one side. Mm. That's a great pancake. <laughs> this is so crispy. Do you guys see this? This is like puffin' white sugar powder all up in the air. Oh, yum. Mmm. Oh, I think it just almost gave me an out-of-body experience. That is just heavenly. The people watching this right now in France is probably laughing at me. But you know what? Let me be the fool, because this is fantastic. Mm. Oh, wow. Do I have that glazed over look in my eyes yet? I am done and I am happy. And apparently I'm kind of drunk of food right now. This buffet is in short, pretty incredible. In terms of food quality, I give this place a solid five out of five. In terms of selection, I'll give it 4.5 out of five. Flavor, most of everything I've had tasted exceptional. I'll give them four out of five. I think what this place does better than any other buffet I've been to is the service. Every time I came back, not only was my dirty plates taken away, my silverware was changed, my napkin was refolded for me. And there's constantly people walking around not 
it's being overly invasive, but just, just spotting what you might need and bringing it to you. Like I was eating my eggs, and all of a sudden somebody brings me salt and pepper shakers. I went to the juice bar looking for watermelon juice. There wasn't any there, but the staff near me told me to wait, and when they brought it out, he poured me a glass. I mean, this is definitely the most luxurious buffet experience I've ever had. And a couple of things I wish this buffet had was that I wish they actually had more Korean dishes on the buffet. There's a lot of dim sum and Chinese stuff. Oh, also, I wish they had a dessert bar for breakfast. Come on, ice cream is good any time of the day. And normally, I hate stuff like scrambled eggs and bacon and sausage, but here, they transform the eggs in, into a work of art. So, for the price tag of 59,000 won, I feel like this buffet is something that you should experience if you are ever in Seoul. As always, guys, all the information for this place is in my description box below. And let me know in the comments, have you been here before? If you have, do you like this place? And let me know, do you think this is the best buffet in Seoul or even in Korea, like so many people claim? And of course, until we eat again, I'll see you later.